Hi, I'm Luke Gimbel, owner of Gimbel Instruments, and this is a demonstration of the spacecraft charge monitor in the Gimbel Instruments laboratory. Um, it was filmed by my eight-year-old son at the time. He's nine now, and um, this was a demonstration that I put together for a talk I gave in Orlando back in January of 2010. I've just removed the bell jar from the vacuum chamber and I'm going to remove the inner magnetic shield so that you can see what the SCM looks like in position in its test apparatus. Uh, there's actually a double magnetic shield on this chamber so I can do very low energy electron work which I didn't have to do with this um, device but I'm equipped to do that. This is the engineering unit of the, um, that was made for the unit was, that was delivered to NASA in 2006. The spacecraft charge monitor is that gold device to the left. There's also some heating, uh, heating and or cooling apparatus there for doing a thermal vac test. There's a bare rhenium filament electron source which is used for this very simple test that, that I'll demonstrate. Behind the um, rhenium source, there's a more, more intricate electron monochromator for other work, which I won't demonstrate here. But anyway, there's an interface to this spacecraft charge monitor, a DB9 connector. Electrons go through that patented RQ8 slit there. It's one of the, one of the advantages of the gimbal instrument spacecraft charge monitor is it has that patented slit. Uh, there's a lot more in that chamber which I won't use in this demo. Um, the chamber is evacuated by two turbo molecular pumps. I have a completely oil-free vacuum system here. I use a scroll, scroll pump for the four pump. Now I'm going to close the chamber back up, putting the magnetic shield back on. And I designed this vacuum system so I could cycle through um, uh, evacuations and then opening it to the atmosphere very rapidly so that I can make minor adjustments and, and during the research and development of uh, uh, making these charged particle spectrometers. There you can see I'm lowering the bell jar onto the base of the chamber. Uh, there's a viewport. Sometimes I look in to make sure that not only is the instrument there, but that um, the electron gun is working. It will emit photons as it heats up that filament. I just closed the bleeder valve on the chamber. Now I'm going to turn on the four pump to rough, rough out the chamber. I rough it out for a little while before I turn on the turbo pumps. Here I am at the electronics. I'm turning on the power of the SCM. It's probably pumped down for about 20 minutes or, or a half hour or so. I applied 28 volts to the spacecraft charge monitor. It's going through the feed through. And I communicate with the SCM with a PC. Um, there I am. I'm at the interface to the SCM2. PC sends commands and receives spectra and housekeeping data from the spacecraft charge monitor. We've got a lot, a lot of electronics on this relay rack I'm not using for this demo. Uh, I'm powering on, I'm going to turn on the power supply here to the filament, that rhenium filament, to create electrons to shoot at the SCM. I'm um, adjusting the current. There it is. I'm going to take it up to about 8 amps to heat up that filament. And there, there's a view of the filament glow I took with a still camera. And here we see a peak being uh, of the spectrum being uh, taken in real time. Uh, there's a 200 point spectrum delivered by the SCM every, every second over a 10 EV range. I'm going to increase the current to the filament and that will increase the flux of electrons or the, the flux in the beam being aimed at the SCM. And as I increase the filament current, you can see the peak in the spectrum 
rise, which is what we expect. Now I'm going to adjust the, um, the energy of the electrons being emitted by the beam, in the beam. And um, here we have 18 volt electrons. That's at the, the lower end of the spectrum, lower energy. And now I'm going to increase the energy of the electrons a little bit at a time by increase, increasing the bus voltage. And you'll see this peak sort of walk across the spectrum, uh, across its full range here, which indicates that um, I am increasing the energy of the electrons and the spacecraft charge monitor is detecting them at higher energies. Once in a while I have to adjust the intensity of the beam to get it back on scale. But here I've gone over a 10 volt range of that um, for the, the spectra. We can configure the SCM to detect energies over a wide range, I think 100 or 200 EV range. And here I am, I'm going to shut everything down to open, uh, to, to um, leave the spacecraft charge monitor engineering unit in its normal condition, which is open to the atmosphere. The spacecraft charge monitor in this demo was built in 2005. And after four years in storage, open to the atmosphere, it works perfectly it's at its original settings, settings I used for its calibration. And I've noticed no de degradation of any of the channel electrons, channel electron multipliers, or any other parts. And this is the sister instrument to the instrument that was del delivered to NASA, Kennedy Space Center, in March of 2006. For more information, including the final SBIR report, you can go to www.gimbal.biz. Thank you very much.